boards. Well, it's been anything but home ice advantage here, but they'll try to close things out with a W here tonight. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Avalanche have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. And he puts it away to make the save. The Avs play it along the blue line. And that shot dies in traffic. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Colorado's won the faceoff. Slides it across. Still has possession. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. The ass taken along the wall. Passes over to Michael. The Ducks take it across the blue line. And he stakes that one with the club. to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Colton's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Michaels won the draw and they'll look to set up. Stopped by the goaltender. As a rookie, he's got an assist, but he's still looking for his first NHL goal. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Directs it on over to Michael. The Ducks are in transition. Picks off the pass. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Forces the turnover. Passes it over. Reaches out and pucks it away. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. In close. Great stop by Georgiev. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it. Challenged right away to make the save. Strom's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Ducks win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, he got huddled by Georgiev. And they get the puck out. Taken along the wall by Lekanen. Fires it on net. Gets in front of it. Great poke check on the reach. Feeds it up ahead. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Silverberg's close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Takes the feed. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Absolutely levels him! He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Moves inside! Denies him in close. A 
I love the way he recognizes the spacing behind his opponent. He decides to take it. He is gone. I mean, he's lightning fast, and he's quick to boot to go with it. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. But almost back on the ice. Oh, he gets a blocker on What a stop by Georgiev. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back in even strength. Pumped away. Well, that's a great power play, James. It's all about puck possession and retrieval. They did all of that and found their way to shots on net and good opportunities just didn't convert. Here's a pass in front. He scores! What a play! have a ton of confidence to be able to make this play not just for the puck movement and the puck skills you have to have in tight quarters here James but also your awareness you have to have patience with the puck to draw the coverage to you and then open up that lane for the goal well where were you moment in that household because he's got his first ever goal and that's gonna feel good and it's a milestone moment James no question about it it's his first ever and there's only one of those so you can expect that that puck will be somewhere on his wall in his house somewhere a second chance another pass he scores what a goal This is what we call a will play, James. It's being forceful and taking the ice that's given to you and not letting anyone back in. I love the way Shields lowers the shoulder and then buries it when he gets the chance. The Ducks have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he's ridden off the puck. Colorado's got it in their own zone. On the attack along the boards. And he takes the feed. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Puts it on net. And he makes a save there. And the puck's knocked loose. Quick pass to break. Oh, what a stop by Georgiev. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Still lots of time left in the period. The Ducks now lead by two. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. What a chance, but can't finish! Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Manson stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Lekanen. And now it's over to Wood. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Both teams readying here for the face off. The Ducks are across the line and into the offensive end. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Quick feed to McKinnon. Odd man rush. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Taves. Colorado's got it in their own zone. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Richards. Fires it! Wicked stop by the goaltender. No! Down the left wing, they gain the zone. From his own end, he picks up the puck. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Oh, big time save by Georgiev. Puck sent over to Hoffman. And he slides it quickly to Rantanen. And he cuts it up with the pass. And that carries off one of his teammates. 
Reigns in front. Still keeps a hold of it. Dumps it in. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Enros got it now deep inside his own end. And it's a quick pass to Michael. Oh, he'll feel that one. Colorado's across the blue line. And that's a smart heads up play by Silverberg. Slides the puck over. Dishes it off. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Here in the late goings of the period, and it's a 2 0 hockey game. Anaheim's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And a nice post check inside the neutral zone. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the pass. From a bad angle, goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. The Ducks are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Grabs it with the glove. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. The Ducks win the draw. Powers got the puck in his own zone. Dumps it in. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Tries to the paint. Blocked aside. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a short pass to Power. And now he moves it quickly to Brink. Thunderous hit it. Look at that. The paint of glass is cracked. Well, yeah, I mean, what a hit, right? What a blow. And you can see it right there. There's a spidery and crack. And listen, you got to make sure that this is taken care of because it gets hit again. It will shatter. So safety is of the priority right now, James. Strong's won the draw at center. Tip toes around the poke check. Can't maintain possession after that hit. This is going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, and it's a comfortable 2 0 lead we're looking at right now. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. That's a smart heads up defensive play by Tippett. As an athlete, you always want to try and contribute and get things going for your team. And it's, well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. We got a whistle penalty coming up. Ross is getting called for slashing. Kill off 
this penalty and they start with possession. Levels him with the hit. Dishes it to Richards. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Gets a glove on it to keep it out. Well, he's got vision and he's got creativity, but you gotta have the skill set in terms of the hands to be able to make a difference and have an impact, and that's exactly what he does as he drives into the net. The goaltender keeps him at bay. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Champion side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And he misses that one. He's in a strong stance in front of the net, hands away from his body. Good hand-eye coordination, but just taps it down and away from the net. My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. Big time stop right there. Oh, what wow, another great save. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. And they capitalize on this power play. Here comes the faceoff. the draw here in the defensive zone. Trying to get it out. And that's off the glass and out. And there's one non-negotiable if you're going to be on a PK, James, and that is you've got to get the clear, and this is done perfectly. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. The Ducks have it now. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Takes a shot, and he was ready for that one. Slides it quickly to Landeskog. Skates to the crease. Anaheim's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Quick pass to Strom. Rossi is up and ready to get back on the ice. Chris is going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on to the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. The draw, they win possession. He's got it behind the cage. And time expires on the power plays. Both teams back to even. Really like that power play sequence, James. The way they were moving puck and controlling the play, they came up to a hot goaltender. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. The goaltender's on the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. The Avs looking against the half wall. Made the stop on that play. The Ducks have it now. Through center. Puck dumped in. Colorado's got it from behind their own net. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Shot, big save in front. Georgiev's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Anaheim's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. Champions won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. A great poor strength to hang on to the puck after that. Moves it to champion. Nice connection on a cross-ice pass. Anaheim's moving it into the offensive end. Strong defensive effort. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. The Avs will play it in their own end. Poked away in the defensive end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Silverberg's got the puck. And that goes off the glove and will play on. Quick shot. And that's blocked away. Punks it away in his own end. Feeds it over. The Avs move it ahead. Slides it across. Passes it over. And that goes off, pulls off a body. Quick feed to Manson. And he gets his glove on the changing shot. Across the line along the left wall. Moves into the slot. And that caroms off a body in the lane.
push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. Locked in goaltenders today, they drop into the butterfly as a default position and make themselves as big as possible. Idea being you want to take away as much of the net as you can. There's a lot of bodies in front, so a smart shot. He can't find it, and it finds its way to the back of the net. Anaheim's putting on an offensive clinic, now up 3-0. Uh, how often do you dominate possession? You can't find the back of the net. Well, different story tonight. They're executing on their chances. The Avs played along the wing. Tremendous reflexes as he turns aside the one-timer. Wow! Dishes it off. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Ducks are on the attack. And they keep the pressure on. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Gets the puck over to Makar. Poked away at center by Faber. And he slides it quickly to Rossi. Rocks it on the play. Anaheim's got the puck. The Ducks played along the boards. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Taves. Find some space in the corner. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Rocks him. He got all of that one. Into the attacking end. Break away. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. The Ducks have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And that's poked away by Drouin. From along the boards, they battle for the puck. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Brink. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Teams control the puck after taking a little drop. And a great scene! Chris styled in and outstanding at anticipating the play here, James. He recognizes exactly where the greatest threat is on the ice. It's a slot area. He gets the position and makes the save. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Champions got it in the offensive zone. And that's broken out. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Receives the pass. And he takes the dish. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Shuts him down. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. Anaheim's looking to break out. Quick pass to Silverberg. Handles the puck. From the point, they take control of it. Moves it to Girard. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Anaheim's gained possession. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. To his teammate. Gives them nothing in front. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. The Ducks have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stage of this second period as they continue to lead big. Great reach with the poke kick. That one misses and will play off. Wow, they spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you gotta find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Quick feed to Jones. Takes a shot. Oh, he had the answer on that one. Johns will play it behind the net. Now a quick pass to Faber. Had save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Both sides getting ready for this face-off, and Cheryl, I can think of a keeper right now who would love nothing more than another minute here. Well, he's extremely fatigued, right, James? So this is a critical juncture of the game. If you're on the offensive side of the puck, you want to continue to wear down your opponent because you know that this goaltender is fatigued, he's vulnerable, and you've got to find a way to capitalize on the opportunity. Georgiev's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. The Ducks continue to put lots of pucks on net here, and they lead it late in the second. Whoops, it off 
have to wait to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Yeah, it's a right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Anaheim's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Colorado's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Big time stop there. Here's a short pass to McCall. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Ducks have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Good check frees the puck up. Up along the wing. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-0 is the score. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he stopped that rocket! Loses his balance on the play. Too many bodies in the way. Sends the pass over. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Ducks win it. Puck picked up by Niskanen. No more for that shot to go through. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves around along the half wall. Makes the save with the glove. Grabbed along the board by Niskanen. The Avs get a hold of it. Quick pass to Wood. The Avs take it from the side. And he somehow gets a piece of it with the glove to keep it out. I absolutely love this city, James. I mean, the shooter's at a point-blank range, right in that low slot, and it's just taken away. Fran Larson is. Anna Hines played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. <laughs> The Avs take possession in the defensive end. Green hits that play with the stick by Niskanen. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Ducks have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. The Avs win that offensive zone faceoff. And that goes off a player in front. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Here's a pass in front, and that's stopped. Takes the feed at the point, and he keeps possession. Moves it to Landeskog. The Ducks have it in the offensive end, and he denied that opportunity. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. He got all of that hit. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Good read with the stick to break that up. Slides the puck over to Nijuskin. And that's deflected off someone in front. Picks up the puck in his own end. Make a change, make a change. 
The Avalanche have taken over in the neutral zone. Scrum along the boards. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Colorado's got it from behind the net. And he slides it quickly to Manson. Quick shot. And he gets all out of one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he hits it aside. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Quick feed to Nash. Shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. San Jose is coming up next on the schedule, and these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that one. Anaheim's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Shillington's lugging the puck. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Manson. Quick feed to Lekanen. Makes his presence known on the ice. Handles the pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Overnight on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Gain possession along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Rossi. Denies it in front. The Ducks gain possession. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Georgiev. Anaheim's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and laid a big time late in this third period. Rossi's won the draw there on the attack. Quick pass over to McCarr. Moves the puck. Sends the pass in front. Dishes it off again here. Breaks it off the post. And he loses control here. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all about the inner James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Champions got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Good save. Oh, quick reflexes on the play. Oh, there's one more. I love how aggressive he plays the shooter. 
bigger on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net, so he gets out and challenges to make the save. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Ducks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Sabalski saying mm.